Horrible news, Mercedes fans. George Russell, the future of the Silver Arrows himself, looked into his crystal ball and put out an ominous prediction for his team's future. And let me tell you, things aren't looking good. Let's hear what he and the rest of the team have to say about the sorry state of the W15 in today's video. George Russell predicts more challenges ahead for the team following a tough beginning to the 2024 season. In the recent Miami race, the Silver Arrows secured P6 and P8 finishes, still without a podium this year. Their top result so far remains Russell's fifth place at the season opener in Bahrain, highlighting ongoing difficulties since 2021. Even though Lewis Hamilton is set to move to Ferrari in 2025, both he and his teammate George Russell will need to maximise their performance, despite the team's current lack of speed for the rest of 2024. Lando Norris's first ever win in Miami signals an impressive comeback for the Woking team over the past year. Russell is optimistic that Mercedes can take inspiration from this and improve their own performance. McLaren qualified P17 and P18 12 months ago in Miami, and they won. So it shows what is possible when you get things right, he said. But right now we don't have things right and need to make changes quickly. We do have a few things coming in the short term, but nothing in the short term that is going to transform us into race winners. So it is going to be painful for a few weeks. I think we have to accept that we are the fourth fastest team. Mercedes is currently sitting in fourth place in the Constructors' Championship, way behind McLaren, who secured victory in Miami. The lap times in the Championship don't lie. This is where we are, and I think we're fighting for the P5-P8 region week in, week out, Russell added. Martin Brundle sees Mercedes' upcoming F1 upgrades as crucial, stating that they will likely shape the remainder of this season and possibly even impact their performance in 2025. Despite introducing an upgrade package at the Miami Grand Prix, Mercedes' disappointing start to the 2024 season persisted, as both Lewis Hamilton and George Russell were eliminated in the second part of sprint qualifying, failing to score points in the sprint race. In regular qualifying, Mercedes saw an improvement with 7th and 8th place finishes, but they were still over 8 tenths behind Max Verstappen from Red Bull. In the Grand Prix, Hamilton finished 6th while Russell struggled to 8th place. Mercedes is working on more updates for their W15 car, and according to Brundle, these upgrades will be vital in addressing their current issues. Brundle mentioned in his post-race column for Sky that Lewis Hamilton had a feisty and fine race to 6th place, including a couple of great overtakes, one in particular against the Haas of Nico Hülkenberg, which was very brave. The Mercedes had good speed in the closing stages, but once again, both he and George Russell had a weekend of confusing and highly variable pace. Mercedes have some upgrades coming which will define the rest of their season and maybe even 2025 and demonstrate whether or not they can define and fix what is wrong with the car. Here's hoping they do, because the upgraded McLaren looks to be closer to Red Bull and Ferrari are eagerly looking forward to their imminent upgrades too. Andrew Shovlin has confirmed that Mercedes' floor upgrade performed as anticipated during the Miami Grand Prix, but he acknowledged that the W15 car still exhibits varying behaviour from one session to another. Since the introduction of F1's ground effect rules in 2022, Mercedes has only secured one race win. They had high hopes of returning to consistent victory contention with the revamped W15 for the 2024 season. But the eight-time Constructors' champions have yet to taste victory. Mercedes debuted their inaugural upgrade package for the 2024 F1 season in Miami, showcasing a notably revised floor design. Yet despite the introduction of these new components, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell faced challenges in leaving a strong impact on race day. Speaking on Mercedes' post-race debrief show, Shovlin mentioned that the team now possesses a very clear idea of the development direction needed for the W15 car. But he acknowledged that the effectiveness of Mercedes' upgrades could be constrained as long as the car's performance remains inconsistent throughout a Grand Prix weekend. He said... We managed to pull forward about half of our update kit to Miami, and the other half is going to arrive in Imola. We're working very hard on the future races to try and bring developments to them as well. Did it work as expected? Yes, it all looks like it's delivering the performance that we were hoping for from the floor. The issue at the moment is everyone else is developing their cars. You saw McLaren with a big package and they look to have moved forward. And also, the handling issues that the drivers are having to battle with are making it hard to really see all that performance as a straight step forward. What we tend to find is that the car can behave quite differently from session to session. And until we get on top of that, we're always going to blunt the benefit that we can get on top of that. We're always going to blunt the benefit that we can get from these type of updates. But after the last few races, we've now got a very clear idea of what we need to do to the car 
to get it handling a bit more easily for the drivers, making sure it goes where they want it to go when they're on those important qualifying laps. And we've also got a good thread of updates that will be coming over the next three or four races. A lot of hard work going on, but hopefully we will start to see the fruits of that soon. Chauvelin's remarks follow George Russell's suggestion in Miami that Mercedes may have overcompensated with the W15 by deviating too much from their F1 2023 car concept. He elaborated on this viewpoint, saying, The fact is that the stopwatch doesn't lie, and we know that probably some of the changes we've made since the end of last year perhaps overcompensated with some of the development items we did. We have limitations with the car now, which is a totally different limitation to what we had this time 12 months ago. We did so much work to solve the problems, we've kind of gone too far in that direction. We know we need to improve, and we need to improve quickly. Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has acknowledged that there are no quick solutions to their Formula One challenges in 2024. Historically, customer teams tend to not surpass their suppliers in performance. Teams like Mercedes or Ferrari, which have an abundance of resources, hold an inherent advantage over teams reliant on their power units. This has led to suggestions that McLaren, for instance, was constrained by its dependence on Bricksworth for its power units. But this perception has been challenged as evidenced by the Woking-based team's recent victory. The recent progress made by other teams in Formula One has somewhat magnified Mercedes' shortcomings. The Silver Arrows find themselves in a challenging position, not quick enough to contend for wins yet still competitive enough to linger around the top six spots. Mercedes not only trails immediate competitors like Ferrari in pace, but also faces uncertainty about the effectiveness of future upgrades. The team's upgrades during the Miami race weekend were somewhat overshadowed by Lando Norris's win, but new components were indeed added to the W15 in Miami, although their impact was relatively limited. It's hard to draw definitive conclusions from such a small data set. It's reasonable to assume that the performance gap between the MCL38 and the W15 has widened. Looking ahead, Toto Wolf warned that there are no quick fixes available to address their current challenges. He said, I think we know what to do. In terms of what they're bringing to the car, you can't really rush it because you've got to get to the point where you say, so now it's good to be released into production. And once that part comes, they need to be sorted. So this is a matter of many weeks. These remarks highlight a key aspect of the challenges facing the German team. Not only is their current car underperforming, but there's also uncertainty about the effectiveness of their upgrades. This uncertainty is compounded by past experiences where the wind tunnel in Brackley has sometimes provided misleading data. While there are some positive aspects, such as Lewis Hamilton's competitive performance against Sergio Perez in the final stint of the Miami GP, the overall situation is challenging. Other teams are making significant progress, highlighting the urgent need for Mercedes to introduce upgrades. These upgrades are crucial not only to increase their speed, but also to prevent any further decline in performance. So, what do Toto Wolff and Mercedes have to do to remedy their downfall? Tell us in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.